what's in my garden. You are looking at a dwarf crested iris. This is uh, part two in a series of irises I'll do throughout the summer. Um, this one is called Iris Cristata. It only grows about um, six inches tall. And as you can see, as you look through here, this is all underneath a birch tree. It grows as a ground cover. They um, spread through rhizomes and will make a really nice little ground cover in a, a shaded, uh, partly shaded to full shaded area. It's a native iris to this uh, end of the country. The height, like I said, is about six inches tall, so it's petite. The color range um, is white, or they'll be in shades of um, a bluish purple. We're uh, right at the end of April, so they're now starting to bloom. Uh, like all irises, um, deer don't bother them. Uh, the first time I saw this particular type of iris, um, it was at Munchkin Nursery, which I don't believe is open anymore. Um, they had it as a ground cover underneath um, a crab apple tree and they were both blooming and it was really 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 pretty to look at see the iris bloom um, it's similar to Siberian iris bloom it's got the narrow the uh, petals are more narrow you see the falls um, the little yellow fuzzy part there The only trouble I've had with these is when I was trying to establish a new uh, clump elsewhere in my garden and the squirrels kept digging it up. And what I ended up doing is laying um, some stones down on the rhizome on the clump to um, hold it in place until they uh, rooted in well. So they uh, survived the abuse of the squirrels and have set up a nice little area in another part of my garden. So a really nice little woodland kind of um, perennial with a little bit of a showy spring. 